Hello, I'm here today with George Ogilvie, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Rambler Metals and Mining. Rambler is one of Atlantic Canada's leading copper and gold producers with a clear expansion plan and a strategy of focusing on the wider Newfoundland region. George, can you please provide us with an overview of the company and its operations? Certainly, Daniel. Um, Rambler has 100% ownership in the Meng Copper Gold Mine, which is located in Bayvert, Newfoundland, Canada. We've been in production now for some 18 months, and in the last six months, we just declared commercial production. We have the ability to produce a gold dory bar or copper concentrates, which we've been doing lately and sending to the international markets. We also have a fully functional mill, uh, which is fully permitted, and it's capable of producing a gold dory or copper concentrates. And within 150 kilometers of our property, we have a fully permitted and operating port, which gives us access to the North American and the European shipping lanes. George, 2012 was a big year for Rambler as you reached commercial production. Can you explain what this means for the company? Well, commercial production basically means that uh, what we designed at the engineering phase has actually proven now to be actually working uh, in practice. And uh, that uh, means for investors that we basically have de-risked the project. Uh, as far as from an accounting and financial perspective, uh, it also means that we now actually book the revenue and the costs to an income statement that therefore has a little bit more meaning for investors. And I'm happy to say that in the first quarter of commercial production, we saw cash flow from operations of $5 million and a net profit at the end of the day of $2 million, which is good for the first quarter. That now sets up the company very nicely that we've delivered on our phase one execution of the mine plan and we can keep that progressing. We're now going to build upon that and look to grow the company as we go forward over the next five years. George, you're mining in one of the lowest risk jurisdictions in the world. Can you tell us what advantages this provides for Rambler? Well, obviously from a regulatory and uh, legislative perspective, it's very, very low risk, which I think is uh, key for investors in today's uh, risk adverse markets. This was also a former mining camp, so all the infrastructure is still there. So we have roads, we have fresh water, and indeed, the town of Bay Vert, where we draw our labor pool from, is only 17 kilometers away. So it's a very friendly mining jurisdiction. Over the last 100 years, there have been 20 mines that have been in operation there. So it's very, a very uh, prospective area for, uh, for further exploration and potential to bring some of these old mines back into production. George, that's an interesting point. With a producing mine, what are your options for growth? Well, our options for growth are many. Uh, first of all, the Ming mine itself. Uh, the ore bodies are all open at depth and in multiple directions across strike. So this huge exploration potential. Uh, we've also just picked up off the Ming site another greenfield property, which we call the Chrissy Buckle, which has anomalous gold readings on it of over 10 grams per tonne. So this huge opportunities in the area. Further afield, the fact that we have a dual functioning permitted mill capable of processing base metal and gold gives us huge opportunity in these markets to look at merger and acquisition activity. George, looking ahead with these achievements behind you, what can investors expect from Rambler over the next 6 to 12 months? Well, for, first of all, execution of the mine plan must continue and we'd expect to see that with strong cash flow from operations and profitability. Uh, we will then take that cash flow and basically pay down any outstanding debt, which we intend to do before the end of this calendar year. We'll continue to invest in the property, particularly exploration at the Ming Mine site, as I've said, and off-site. And we'll also look at further uh, merger and acquisition activity. That was George Ogilvie, Chief Executive Officer of Rambler Metals and Mining.